about multi-step equations with no distributive property first. So, we can skip over step one, which says distribute if you have parentheses, combine like terms on the left side of the equation or the left side of the equal sign, combine like terms on the right side, use inverse operations and move the variable to the left side of the equation, and use inverse operations and move the constants, or the regular numbers, to the right side. So our first example, I always like to draw a line through the equal sign to create two sides. I want to get all of my variables to one side, so I'm going to take 8x and subtract it from both sides to get it onto the left side. So 3x minus 8x is negative 5x minus 7 equals 8x and negative 8x cancels, so that leaves me with 23 on the right. Then, I want to take any constants or regular numbers over to the other side. So I'm going to add 7, because that's the inverse operation, which is the opposite operation. So that leaves me with negative 5x on the left, and 30 on the right. The inverse operation for multiplication is to divide. So when I solve that, I would get x equals negative 6. For our next example, again, we want to start this time by combining any like terms we have on either side. I can combine negative x and 6x, which will give me 5x. I can combine 1 and 3, which will give me 4. Then I'm going to take the variable from the right side over to the left side. So that would give me 3x minus 5 equals 4. Then I'm going to add 5 to both sides. That cancels out and leaves me with 3x equals 9. The inverse of multiplication is to, to divide. So I divide by 3 on both sides and that will leave me with x equals 3. For our last example, we can combine 4x and negative 2x on the left and nothing on the right. So I want to take x to the left hand side, so 2x minus x is just going to give me x. So x plus 6 equals 10. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides and that will leave me with x equals 4. To review, here are our steps again. Distribute if you have parentheses, combine like terms on both sides of the equal sign, and use inverse operations to move the variable to the left, and use inverse operations to move the constants to the right.